All right, it's spring, and of course that means spring peas, and we are doing a delicious, simple spring pea and stiletti pasta salad with fresh mint and parsley. Uh, there's our peas, little spring peas. I shucked about, I don't know, half a cup. Uh, those are raw. There's our little star-shaped pasta, stiletti. Am I pronouncing that right? Don't send me any emails. All right, there they are. Close up, little star shapes. All right, we got very simple spice mix. Uh, you're going to read that on the blog today. Some fresh uh, mint and parsley, a little olive oil, of course a lemon. And here we go. So in a bowl, I'm going to dump in my raw little baby spring peas. I guess they're not that small, but they're uh, they're not the giant ones. Now what we're going to do, I'm not, I'm not going to cook these. Sometimes you can throw those into the pasta water at the last second to blanch them. I'm just going to pour the hot, drained pasta over the top. And I'm just going to let it sit there for, I don't know, maybe four or five minutes. And the steam, the heat in that star pasta that just got drained, still really hot, is sort of going to just start to cook a little bit. Just going to sweeten up a little bit those um, beautiful peas. And that's all I'm going to do. Now this is one of those pasta salads that you do want to dress while it's warm. Okay, Mayonnaise based, of course, big mistake, you got to let the pasta cool. But when I'm doing an oil and vinegar, or an oil and lemon juice in this case, I'm going to dress it warm. So after about five or six minutes, I dumped in about a quarter cup of lemon juice, fresh, and a third of a cup of olive oil. And that really is just my dressing. Really, really basic. Uh, my salt pepper mix, I'm going to dump that in. I'm going to give that a mix. And then I'm going to do another very important step. I'm going to let this come down to room temperature before I put in my fresh herbs. Okay, so this, the uh, lemon, the oil, the spices are soaking into that warm pasta. All right, those peas just got brightened up a little bit from the hot pasta. But if I put the herbs in while it was hot, they would turn kind of dark and wouldn't look as good. Now that this sat for about a half hour, I'm going to put in its half parsley, half fresh mint. All right, Italian parsley, fresh mint. And you're going to give that a mix, and that is such a great great spring salad. Now I serve this next to um, a piece of fish which is just a natural with. So I did this with my perch demo you probably saw the other day. Uh, really really good contrast. I love hot grilled or sauteed meats with cold pasta salad and it's a great contrast. And of course you throw it in a bowl it makes just a nice side dish for your picnics or your buffets or whatever you're doing. Anyway, the key is here, keep it simple. Those spring peas are so sweet and delicious, we don't want to do too much. Just a simple spring salad. Anyway, check the blog for all the exact ingredient amounts and uh, enjoy.